Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we're going to be doing another Forzathon guide. Now this week's Forzathon event revolves around using the Lotus 311 um, which some of you might have, some of you might not. Uh, here it is in all of its glory. Now it will set you back about 150,000 credits from the auto show. Um, I have created a tune as you will definitely need it for a couple of the challenges. Um, it's an absolute animal being x class um, and four wheel drive light as a fella uh, and 1200 brake horsepower so trust me it's very quick not the easiest to control i'll be honest but definitely worth a punt uh, now the first challenge wants you to earn a total of nine stars from speed zones so if you often watch my videos you know i have a favorite speed zone uh, and it's the forest green one up here uh, because all you need to do is get 90 mile an hour uh, in order to get three stars so that just means three runs of three stars and you'll have this challenge completed and each run takes about 15 seconds uh, obviously you can time it yourself here if you want to um, but it's very very easy first challenge there uh, not too difficult the good thing is you don't actually have to have your car tuned for this first challenge but you will later on um, but like I said best speed zone for it uh, for any challenge really it won't take you very long uh, nice and easy one there for your first challenge now your second one is a little longer um, and it wants you to get a total of 15 ultimate near miss skills now firstly i recommend going into horizon solo where there are more ai cars and then i recommend going over to the motorway um, now the reason for this is that is where the highest population of ai vehicles are uh, and what you want to do is drive on the opposite side of the road uh, above about 170 mile an hour and basically nearly miss all the cars you can uh, and that's the easiest way to get the ultimate near miss skill now if you try and do it on the same side of the road as the other cars um, you won't get an ultimate near miss skill unless you're doing over about 200 uh, and 20 mile an hour so this is definitely the easiest way to get it done now the final challenge here you just need to get a slingshot skill in an event so i recommend going into a race now i use the moorhead wind farm circuit of course i've created a blueprint there called one lap easy which is just one lap of the race now a slingshot skill is where you are drafting and then as soon as you come out of the draft you get an overtake uh, it's actually fairly easy so in this one well one lap here you'll see me get about four slingshot skills i think it is uh, and the best thing is you don't actually have to overtake the car you're drafting so you could be drafting someone with another car next to you overtake the car next to you and still be drafting the car in front uh, and you'll get the slingshot skill so like i said it's fairly simple it's just a drafting skill and an overtake it's a lot easier when you're approaching a corner but as you can see it's actually a fairly easy skill to get especially because lotus's acceleration uh, is very very fast basically uh, so it's not too hard of a challenge and if you lower the difficulty on the race you'll probably find it a bit easier as well uh, anyway guys i hope this video has helped you out if it has it would be fantastic if you could drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this if you are new to the channel apart from that i want to say a massive thank you for everyone's support i hope you still enjoy my content uh, and i hope to see you in my next video thank you very much guys all the best and take care